I think for the near term market will probably remain to be volatile and difficult because everyone is looking at all the high frequency data, earning data so closely that it's very unlikely one data point will suddenly turn people to become much more bullish. And on the policy front, you know, there's no more policy bazooka. In fact, you know, uh, this year China's regulator will prefer not to overstimulate mm -hmm. so that they can save some policy bullet point for next year. And geopolitical tension front, I think people's expectations are really low and again, don't think there's any big major positive surprises. So unfortunately for now, market will probably stay in this uh, volatile, boring kind of situation. And we say either focus on consumer companies with good earnings upside or focus on the defensive, you know, SOEs with high dividend yield. How much of the negativity and the downward pressure, particularly in Hong Kong, is mm. down to just gl tight global financial conditions? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, typically when U.S. dollars are strong, U.S. rates are high, it's certainly not helping, right? U.S. money market fund is yielding 5% and U.S. stocks, fan stocks are doing well. So for investors who don't have to participate in China or EM, the question is like, why bother, right? With mm -hmm. all the uncertainty, geopolitical noises, maybe just to do something simpler, <laughs> focusing on U.S. I'm sure retail, though, you know, investors are coming back. Is that going to be supportive for them in the rally in any way? Um, I think we are seeing positive signs, right, in terms yeah. of new account opening, margin finance trading. Uh, these are positive signs. But onshore retail tend to be uh, swinged into extremes, right? So, for example, in the Asia this year, the two themes that worked, one is chat GPT, AI. Right? Mm -hmm. Software sector were up like, you know, 30, uh, 40 percent in first quarter alone. The other theme was uh, the SOE reform theme. Um, so for these two themes, uh, for, from global long only European investors, or chat GPT AI too difficult, <laughs> expensive, fundamentals are not supportive, mm -hmm. earnings being downward revised. But on the SOE theme, surprisingly, I think global investors are getting a bit more open-minded mm -hmm. to say, you know, is there any value to be found in this area? I'm not sure if that's a sign of desperation, but <laughs> that, as that aside, because within the SOE trade, mm. you and I were speaking earlier, there's a lot of income there, particularly yes. with the banks, and the banks are yes. coming up with earnings today. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, the good thing with banks is the risk is very well known. Oh, China banks have the risk of doing national services. I think that's very well known. It's being priced. That's why they're trading at 0 0.3, 0 0.4 4 times PB and only 4 times PE. Yeah. Um, but especially the large SOE banks, earnings are safe. Dividend yield are 8 to 9 percent. And the currency is relatively stable. So, you know, even in U.S. dollar terms, Eight, the dividend yield. Yes. Wow. Is that why... I mean, wow. maybe, maybe tell us why. I mean, this sector used to be very overlooked by foreign investors, right? SOEs. Is, yeah. is it quite a hard sell? Or is it still? Um, why do you think they're warming up to it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, the reason for people's concern on the SOE banks is that they do too much of the national services. There's hidden risks on the balance sheet. Yeah. And as earnings growth decelerate, ROE continue to deteriorate. Um, but I think to the bank's credit, the reason why their ROE has been deteriorating or earning growth is uninspiring is because they try to take more provisions and clean up their balance sheet. So now we're still not so optimistic that the ROE will have a massive expansion, but at least we become more confident on the SOE bank's balance sheet because after the past five, seven years of consistently high provision taking, their coverage is getting better, their NPR recognition is getting better. So at least they give the earning certainty and, uh, you know, they are macro proxy. So if this year China's GDP growth is going to have a modest acceler acceleration, banks' earning growth will probably have room for upside as well. Winnie, have a great weekend ahead. Very nice.